Okay, this is an extremely important achievement by ISRO. Uh, in fact, the docking is a pre-requirement for um, our future missions, particularly outer space missions. Uh, and like, for example, Chandrayaan-4. See, Chandrayaan-4 mission is expected to bring samples from the moon. Uh, what do you call uh, the transfer module? The transfer module carries the moon samples. And uh, there is another module called the re-entry module, which is separately launched. Uh, will receive the samples from the transfer module. But how can it receive the samples from the transfer module? It's only by docking. So the docking is a pre-requirement for the uh, future missions of ISRO. Yeah, it's really, really a uh, uh, look at the, it's one of the technological requirement uh, for the upcoming missions, okay, but Chandrayaan-4 and even the manned missions, all these things, uh, instead of uh, launching the separately on one mission, and uh, this requirement of uh, one mission already there, another one going and docking, is a real requirement uh, for the upcoming many of the missions of ISRO. Beyond that, beyond that, you look at here in the world of space, when many, many satellites are going around the orbit, uh, there are many reasons for to maintain the orbit, la maintain the life of the, extending the life of the satellites already there, or even the satellites which are last defunct and needs to be removed from the orbit. All these things you need something called endovo and docking. And uh, this, I think, is uh, a really a very, very timely uh, thing which Roy has done it. And uh, uh, that too, uh, the challenge being uh, two small satellites. Uh, one already a big station is there for that going and docking is relatively easier. But whereas uh, two small uh, satellites uh, making a rendezvous and docking with the resources less, the amount of the fuel available is less there, and uh, the duration for which you can operate from the ground visibility is uh, relatively less. You don't have the uh, something called uh, uh, other missions where the globally uh, throughout the orbit you can watch. So with all these constraints, beyond all these things, now we look at here, uh, this is the first of our time uh, uh, a private industry also fully integrated the satellites. Uh, that means private in, in industry integrated satellite, and the small satellites with the really little resources. I think making this mission successful is really, really. That too, uh, when the initially they have seen some setbacks of some few sensors failures, which will not, didn't allow for the uh, uh, autonomous docking. So the man in loop, uh, ground in loop, uh, I think a lot of simulations redone and uh, trying to come back in a proper way. So my hearty congratulations to Indian scientists and engineers. They have achieved a certain uh, uh, feat, which very few nations in the world have been able to do. So we are the fourth nation in the world to be able to successfully uh, carry out the docking operation between two uh, uh, spacecraft entities uh, in orbit, which is a remarkable feat. And this has happened after a long wait also because uh, it was originally planned for 7th January and then uh, because of uh, uh, certain uh, factors, uh, the docking uh, mission could not be uh, initiated uh, the way it was uh, desired. So finally it has been done. It actually, it's a very complicated process because keeping two spacecrafts in orbit around the Earth, they are, uh, were being maintained in the same orbit so virtually the same speed in the respective uh, 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 paths. And between them, a certain distance had to be maintained. So all of that requires quite a lot of uh, sort of programming beforehand. And uh, ISRO had for several months done the simulations for uh, these uh, docking operations. Docking operation is very, very important from future space missions because India aims to build a, uh, uh, a space station. As also Chandrayaan-4 will also require docking because uh, after uh, collecting the lunar samples from the uh, surface of the moon, uh, the ascender module has to meet with the uh, transfer module. So docking uh, in space there also has to take place. So this was the first time and in first attempt itself, I must say, ISRO has been able to achieve this and this is completely homegrown talent and home uh, uh, developed uh, almost everything. 